Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, Home Assistant Hardwired Part 6 RS485 to Ethernet Gateway. I will be using this gateway. It's a non-PoE PoE version. You can have PoE version, so you don't need power supply. Uh, you can use this unit, for example, if you don't, don't want to use USB stick. Or another example is if you have Home Assistant on one of the house and you need to connect a couple of RS-485 devices on another end of the house and you have Ethernet on that side, you can just use this unit. So basically this unit you can have, you have RS-485 output. This is a power supply. RJ45 Ethernet port. This one is basically PoE version, so you don't have to use power, power uh, terminals. You can use PoE for it. Then you can download the software for setting up and testing, or you can use built in web server. So you just log in to this address and you do you can do your settings. So let me go to that web server. This is my device. Device name, device IP, I change it from one to zero. Device we device web port. This is the this this web website port 80 HTTP gateway. IP mode, I will always recommend to make it static. So now we got the settings. So any device which you want to connect to have the settings. So basically I will be using the from the previous videos the temperature sensors and the electricity meter which have these settings. You must match these settings with the device which you want to connect. Protocol mod was TCP to RTU. You can change your web login password. So let's go to Node-RED. Okay, so I already set up the flow. I got connected three devices. I got the temperature humidity sensor. I got eight-way acquisition board with one wire temperature sensors and I got one setup for the electricity meter so let's go to configuration this is as usual unit ID very important I got config for the server so let's go to the config okay so type TCP address of the gateway port and unit ID best to leave zero because you may use this config settings for various devices so basically you will put that unit ID on your separate nodes and this is this is should be just about like I says this is unit ID on the separate nodes so let's we try. It's working. I will clear it. And then electricity meter. Okay, so um, in next video I would like to talk about how to connect various devices to the same serial bus network. I'm not gonna talk about this in this video. So I think this is all for this video and see you in the next video.